Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope and y-intercept. This is standard 8.4c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have an artist here, and the artist is starting to paint with some paint bottles, buys the same number of additional bottles each week. All right, so that means that we are going to be able to say we have a constant rate. And that's really what that language is referring to. When we have the same number of bottles that are being bought each week, right, that's an increase that's going to be constant. The table shows a linear relationship that also gives us a clue that we have a constant rate. Between x is the number of weeks, y is the number of bottles, right? So how many bottles did the artist have at the start? Well, when we see a linear relationship, hopefully that is giving us a clue. Let's look at our reference materials. Linear equations, y equals mx plus b. That is going to be extremely helpful. So let's say that y equals mx plus b. And we need to know what the m is. The m, as we see here on our, slart, on our chart, is the slope of a line. So that's going to equal change in y over change in x. All right, so let's just pick two points here. And I'll just, doesn't really matter. Pick these ones. Let's go ahead and label them x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 1, y sub 2. You can pick any two x's and y's. Just make sure that they are lined up with each other. Your x sub 1 is across from your y sub 1. x sub 2 is across from y sub 2. So let's just plug this in. This is 34, y sub 2, minus 25, y sub 1. And then my x sub 2 is going to be 7, minus 4, my x sub 1. So that comes down to 9 over three. All right, so it goes three per week. All right, that makes sense, All right? So this is a plus three right here between 12 and 15. That means an additional three weeks. So that's a three, six, nine. There's your plus nine. All right, so that's good. We have our slope. So y equals three x plus b. Now to solve for the b, we need the, that's the starting point because maybe the artist didn't start at zero. Maybe the artist had some bottles to begin with. Well, we just pick any x and y and solve for it. So let's do this one. We haven't done 12 and 49 yet. So I'm going to make my y 49 equals 3. My x is 12. You could substitute any x and y if you want to. Plus b. All right. So 49 equals 3 times 12 is 36 plus b. And, let's see, we need to subtract 36 from both sides. And what we're going to get here is B equals 13. All right, so now it looks like we can say Y equals 3X plus 13. All right, if we want, we can actually test that out a little bit. Let's graph this. With calculator. All right, so let's put y equals 3x plus 13. All right, and we're looking for if x is 4, y should be 25. All right, and we have to bring this down just a little bit. Let's zoom that out. So if x is 4, y is 25, and you see that right there. That 4 and 25 is right there. And we can go on and we could match. Uh, let's match another one here. Let's do the 15 and 58. So if we come over here, we're going to see that we are at about right there. 15 and about 58. There it is. All right, so that is our answer. And what we need here is we need to find the starting point. Well, the starting point is going to be the y-intercept. That's at zero. So that is going to be our C, 13. 